while we do the energy thing from the center, I've had these experiences wherein I'm sitting up and I just fall down. It's so intense that it, it keeps shaking me and I get scared. So what is your opinion about it? <laughs> Come here. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> you know, we have physical bodies. Those are vehicles for us to inhabit. Yes or no? Yes. And we have traumas, we have injuries, we have emotional blockages. And all of that is organized as condensed energy in the body. In other words, your body is gravitationally organized energy, light and information, packaged in cellular form. Are you with me still? Yes. And you got all this energy, all this vital life force sitting down there. And when you begin to disrupt it and you learn how to move it, it's like a champagne bottle. When it goes off, it's a moving freight train. And when that energy begins to erupt and the sympathetic nervous system releases it, it's going to move through different parts of your body and it's going to begin to break through certain restrictions. And when you start getting afraid of it and you start contracting, the contraction does what? Causes more impedance. And so then the body is trying to process information because all that energy is carrying information. And when it strikes your brain, flash a light, and there you are on the ground, and blah, 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 you know, and everybody's freaking out, and you're thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. It feels pretty amazing. <laughs> but it's an unknown, and a lot of people get afraid of it. And I went through many, many years that sometimes I would just hear a song, and I would be like, oh, no, it's going to happen. And it just wasn't appropriate at certain times. But you're doing it right. You're doing exactly what I want you to do. You, you got, a, you got a, a good release of energy going to your brain and your nervous system has to be able to process a very powerful frequency. And when that energy begins to move and it moves up into your brain and you start creating that field, your body's got to process that energy with the information. And as it does, a lot of times it just is trying to take it in. And your body's going through that whole process. The key is to surrender completely to it. Just relax into it and let it happen to you and it'll turn into something else. It just will. It did for me. But if you get afraid of it, and I did that too, like, oh, I was sitting in an audience, I was sitting in a silent retreat <laughs> with a thousand people. And I, all of a sudden, that energy started shaking loose, and I thought, oh, this is not going to go well. And for a whole couple hours, I was working with holding it back. And the next thing you know, I just popped and wah, and I fell on the ground and everybody was so mad at me, you know. <laughs> and I got up and left and then I sat up and here it went again. Two hours later, I, my, I don't even yell like that. I don't even know what was coming out of my mouth. Wham, on the ground again. Three or four times, everybody left. <laughs> and I kept like, like waking up with the grass in my face. And I didn't know where I was or who I was or whatever. And then I, well, they, they called it at the end, and they, just when the sun was going down, and I opened my eyes, and there was this sweet elder, sweet older woman sitting right across from me. Everybody else was gone. I lifted up my blindfold, and she said, you had a good day, didn't you? <laughs> and it went on for months. And imagine all that life force moving into your brain and the arousal that's created from that energy. There's a moment of bliss that takes place when it intercourses your brain and you shouldn't be caught in the phenomena. The phenomena is the side effect. You should just keep unfolding and keep doing that breath and keep wanting it and sit on the ground. And when I taught this breath in Costa Rica the way I'm teaching it to you now, where you contract and some of you are still resisting, I stood right next to you. You were resisted. You didn't do it because you had to work for it. Or you didn't think you knew how to do it, so you didn't even try. I watched some of you. Well, I'm not done with you. <laughs> we're going to review it again tomorrow. 
because I want you to have this experience. And in your innocence and in your youth and in your simplicity, you're, you know how to move energy. And when it starts to move and your body does what it does, the nervous system is processing a greater frequency. And we, we saw in our brain scans that when people relax into it, the brain goes into a very, very high state, a lot of microvolts of energy, and many times the brain waves that are carrying that energy are delta, deep sleep. The person is completely surrendered. And when that energy starts to move and they get up tight and they move into low level alpha, or even mid-range alpha, or they start to become aware and they move into beta, the microvolts go down because they're resisting it. Does that make sense? So when it happens, surrender. Surrender to it, and you're doing it exactly right. And you'll have that flash of light, you'll have the bliss, you'll have a deja vu, you'll have a mystical experience, and all of a sudden you just get up, laugh, shake it off, sit up and do it again. And I watched those people in Costa Rica <laughs> there was a lot going on and for 70 people I was running around picking people up and not that you have to pass out it's not necessary you don't have to do that so don't worry but if it does happen you're getting a big release and it, your nervous system once it opens up and those blockages and those channels begin to release it'll flow very smoothly and very freely and it'll, get, it'll turn into something else but right now your body is processing that frequency and that energy. And of course, there's going to be some physical uh, contractions, and that's just information. The body's trying to integrate. Does that make sense? Yes. And then it makes sense that in the schools of ancient wisdom that were perched up in the Himalayas, that when people showed up and they wanted to be initiated into the truth, that they had to do a lot of physical yoga to break the rigidity down in their bodies so the path was open and that they could sit for extended periods of time and not have their body preoccupying them, that they were now more physically capable and this connective tissue was more elastic and the energy moved more freely. And so the blockages in that connective tissue and the nervous system kind of move energy in different directions and that, that energy is going to finally make its way through and you're going to get a biological upgrade. It happens all the time. Great job. <laughs>